In previous episodes, Sean gave us a tour of his service truck. This is where I keep garbage. <laughs> Answered some questions and gave us some advice. Don't go and spend all your money on really high priced, big brand name tools. In this episode, Sean is going to answer some more questions and give more advice based on his experience. To easily and quickly book a mechanic, visit tecamohd.com. Welcome to Service Call, a mechanic's guide to service, troubleshooting, and repair. And on this episode, that's brutal. Stinky, hot, disgusting. I feel like this truck can handle a lot more than I put it through. A lot more. But if you find a truck that is well set up and it's smaller, I think that will make all the difference, really. If there are any questions you have that we don't answer in this video, leave them in the comments section below. Do you also have a shop where people bring equipment to you? I have this truck and I, and I do have a repair facility uh, at my home as well. Uh, it's just a small shop. I do rebuilds and uh, smaller equipment repairs there. It's a, it's a friggin' mess, worse than my truck. <laughs> do you like working outside or in the shop? It's kind of nice to work in the field, getting out. I mean, some, some environments that you work in are pretty nasty. I've worked on a mushroom farm, or not a mushroom farm, but a uh, mushroom, the, the soil that they make for the mushroom farms. I worked on equipment at the place where they, where they make that stuff. And that's brutal. Stinky, hot, disgusting. There's definitely other sites that are much nicer. Uh, yeah, I mean, nice days, it's nice to be out. Working in a shop environment is nice on colder or wet days. Obviously, there's some jobs that need to be done in a controlled environment, so working indoors is better. I wouldn't say that I prefer one over the other. I do like getting out and seeing different machines and seeing how they're working and that sort of thing, whereas working in a shop environment is more routine. But yeah, I, I wouldn't say I like one over the other. I, they're, they're both pretty interesting. What is the largest machine you've worked on? Since owning this truck, uh, I would say the largest machine that I've worked on was a 450 size John Deere excavator. I believe actually it was a John Deere 470G. Yeah, that was the, the largest since uh, running this truck. I feel like this truck can handle a lot more than I put it through, a lot more. Uh, it's got a decent load capacity, tons of power, lots of torque. It's got a built-in exhaust brake. It, it's pretty solid. Yeah, I'm pretty confident it can handle most things I can throw at it. What terrain did you go through to get to the machine? It was most, uh, the terrain uh, when I was working on the 470, the terrain that I was working on was a lot of loose gravel and, and some mud, which thankfully the four wheel drive in this really helped out in that situation because I, I actually needed to put it in four wheel drive to, to make it to the machine. Not so much in the mud, because it had a hard bottom, but the loose gravel was so loose and so deep. <laughs> uh, I, I pretty well buried it and needed to put it in four wheel drive. Would you suggest four-wheel drive? I would not say that four-wheel drive is a necessity. I have run some service trucks that were two-wheel drive and I have been in some really nasty situations because of it, but uh, I don't think it's a necessity. I would r recommend if, if you are going to work out of a, tr out of a pickup truck that it be a three-quarter or one ton and four-wheel drive but not 100% necessary. What's more important, the tools or the truck? Would the tools be a, a, a more important purchase than the truck? The tools are definitely 
uh, more important than the truck because the truck will get you there and, and sure it'll give you some capability but if you don't have the tools to do the job then the truck is really useless. The nice thing for me with going with the big truck is there's still a lot of room for me to stuff things in this thing. Uh, I've only been at on this truck here for a few months now and I know that there's improvements that I need to do and I have plenty of room to do it. But if you find a truck that is well set up and it's smaller, I think that will make all the difference, really. But I think at the end of the day, I already had most of the tools that I needed. I still needed to purchase a bunch because one of the service trucks that I used to run was um, broken into and I lost a lot of tools. So I had a lot of tools left over that were in my shop that I'm outfitted my truck with. However, I still needed to buy like air tools, cordless tools, uh, that sort of thing. Being that most of my investment in tools was already made, I could spend the extra money on the truck, but that may not be the situation for everybody. But I definitely think that the tools are more important than the truck. But I don't think that you need to go and spend a ridiculous amount of money on larger brand name tools. You can do same work with a cheaper tool. And most places nowadays have lifetime warranty on the tools anyway. That's it for this episode. If you have any questions for Sean, leave them down in the comments below and we'll answer them in a future video. So yeah, that's my service truck. If you got any questions, let us know. I'm Sean and I fix shit. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn how to fix shit too, support this channel, like, comment, and subscribe. So if you have any questions about the oil I have in the back or tracks, check out FortisHD.com.